Something I recommend almost once a week, if not more, is pelvic floor physical therapy. And whenever I say it, I always give my patients a moment to see how they might respond. Some women have heard of pelvic floor PT and some women haven't. I see their brains kind of going and thinking, you wanted me to do physical therapy for what? So in this video, I'm going to explain what pelvic floor physical therapy is, who and what it's good for, and what you can expect when you go if your doctor recommends this. So let's get into it. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Here we talk about all things midlife, perimenopause, and menopause. Now today we're gonna to be talking about pelvic floor physical therapist, and disclaimer, I am not a physical therapist. I'm the clinical program director at the Menopause and Midlife Clinic at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, but I do recommend pelvic floor PT numerous times a week, and I have had pelvic floor PT myself. Along with that, I've done many episodes on my podcast, Health by Heather Hirsch. I will drop the link in the description below with my really good friend, Dr. Melissa Gallo, on pelvic floor physical therapy. So it's something that I know a lot about, although again, I'm talking about my perspective on this from the clinician's side. So first let's talk about what are the reasons your doctor might recommend to you pelvic floor PT. Now there's two big reasons that your doctor may recommend pelvic floor PT and they're a little different. So let's talk about both of those scenarios. The first is pain with intercourse. Now painful intercourse can be from many different things, and the most common of which is genitourinary syndrome of menopause. One of the very first things I do for patients who have a lot of pain with intercourse is talk them through vaginal estrogen. I've got a great video, one of my most popular videos, all about vaginal estrogen. If you have painful intercourse, stop right here, go check that video and come on back. But after using a vaginal estrogen, a patient may continue to have pain with intercourse and have what we call high pelvic tone or vaginismus. Now you yourself might not be able to know that you have this. Your doctor would know by when he or she goes to do a speculum exam, you might have just this clenching of the pelvic floor or as I say that, you might know exactly what I mean, in which case you feel like your body is trying to keep things out likely in order to protect you from pain. If you think you have that, that's called vaginismus. And the reason I send people to pelvic floor physical therapy is we have to retrain your brain instead of having that high pelvic tone and those spasms to be able to relax. The second most common reason I send patients to pelvic floor physical therapy is for incontinence. Now we could break incontinence down into its numerous kinds. There's a stress incontinence, which is the you know, leaking when you sneeze, cough, or jump. And then there's urge incontinence, which is the gotta go, gotta go, can't get to the bathroom fast enough. Now pelvic floor PT is actually really good for the urge incontinence, the gotta go, gotta go kind, because what you're really doing is retraining all those neurons that go from your brain to your bladder to teach your bladder to try and hold the urine, not to let the urine go. And so actually pelvic floor physical therapy can help you reform these connections and reform these almost like mind muscle memory. And so for those two reasons, pain with intercourse from vaginismus or high pelvic tone and incontinence, mostly urge incontinence are two big reasons I refer and talk to my patients about pelvic floor PT. One of the great things right off the bat about pelvic floor PT is it's not a medication, it's not a surgery, and it's not invasive. And very often after a couple of sessions, let's say between four and eight, depending on you, your personality, your priorities, how much time you have, you can learn what the pelvic floor PT wants to teach you and then go home and do those exercises at home. Now, even during the pandemic, people were doing this via telemedicine, maybe not as effective, but it's the idea that I want to press upon you that there are certain exercises that you can do at home that are actually going to help you do both of these things. Okay, now what to expect. This part is a little bit peppered by my own personal experience. I went to pelvic floor PT after a difficult delivery of my second son, which is another reason you can go to pelvic floor PT. Now, I personally don't see as many postpartum mamas as other doctors. Certainly my patients are usually perimenopause and menopause, but that's another reason that you could go. So I'm basing a lot of this off of my own personal experience and the experiences of my patients who tell me how their therapies went. I feel like a lot of people have 
really, you know, uh, detailed ideas in their mind about what pelvic floor physical therapy really is. But actually not all of it, and in fact, little is internal and most of it is helping you reform your mind memory muscle connection so while there is some exercises that involve the pelvic floor it's also the lower abdominals the lower back and the hips and the hip flexors and a lot of these exercises again you can do at home and they really help to strengthen the muscle groups and those supporting muscle groups around the pelvic floor because the pelvis is a little bit like the anchor of the entire trunk, which is really the anchor of the entire body. So having a strong pelvic floor can be really helpful, but not just strong, one that can also help relax. One of the things that a pelvic floor physical therapist will also help you do if you have high pelvic tone is help you learn how to relax that pelvic floor. And it's a lot harder than you think, and that's why there's so many different exercises that you can be taught so that you can help to learn to relax the pelvic floor. Now, if it's for urgent continence, then you may actually be doing the opposite, which is learning how to constrict or tighten those muscles, but only in specific situations and only when you need it. I have never met someone to have a particularly bad experience with a pelvic floor physical therapist because I cannot speak highly enough of the profession. All of these professionals are well-trained and they take pride in what they do. They're all women's health experts who want to help you in your goals, whether it may be intercourse or intimacy or being able to go to a movie and not leak urine. There's many other reasons you could see a women's health specialist for physical therapy, even you know peripartum while you're pregnant and postpartum as I alluded to. But these are just one of the most valuable sets of professionals for women's health that we have. So I'm so excited if you either have a referral to a pelvic floor physical therapist, you're interested in seeing a pelvic floor physical therapist, then you should definitely talk to your doctor and definitely go and check it out. They are so good at what they do. They are very highly sensitive to the specific needs of women in whatever reproductive stage that they're in. And I know that you're going to be able to get to your health goals without needing as much or as soon those medical or surgical interventions. Now, this is a very brief overview. And again, I'm not a pelvic floor physical therapist. I'm sure there are many pelvic floor physical therapists here on YouTube that you could watch or follow or over on Instagram. If you want a really, really nice podcast about this, definitely check out my show. I linked it in the description below because you'll hear from Dr. Melissa Gallo who talked all about pelvic floor physical therapy for women's health. It's something that if you have been recommended, I cannot stress enough. It's gonna be really important part of your care plan and so is your pelvic floor physical therapist. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you have more questions about pelvic floor PT, what it is, how you can go, definitely shoot those my way in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, and I'll see you next week for a brand new video, everyone. Bye.